Okay, so next little update on the uh, sheath. Everything's going great. Um, I've fit the brass on there. It's all super smooth. Um, it fits pretty nicely. Um, there's a little excess overhang there, but that's pretty good to have actually because then there, oh, there we go. Wait. That's pretty good to have. There we go. That's pretty good to have. So um, you can actually trim it to fit perfectly um, flush with the actual sheath itself. Um, these are the rivets that I've done. You can see there's a little bit of scuffing um, on the brass, but that's pretty easy to buff out and kind of hammer down. Um, your best friend while doing these, uh, I've got a rubber mallet. Rubber mallet's great for kind of tapping uh, any parts that aren't laying flat. Um, and I'll kind of tap all the parts that I kind of dented just a little bit and then I'm using kind of a big ball peen hammer. I'm not sure what the weight of it is uh, uh, 24 ounce, so it's kind of a big boy um, But it I, I kind of hold it way up here as I'm kind of tapping the the end of the rivet to kind of get it to, to lay down um, and it's uh, I, I would say it's it's heavy enough that it does most of the work for you. The um, the rivets that I'm using are these guys right here. I've had them for a while. I tried doing a, a knife sheath before, and for some reason, I guess I just wasn't experienced enough. I just couldn't get it to work. Um, but now I'm doing it, and these guys are laying down perfect. I mean, you can look at them. They're pretty perfect, like perfect circles, and they're looking great and I'm really excited. Um, I got a little bit of scratching on the sheath from this guy trying to get it to lay flat, but that's okay, I'm, I'm not too worried about it. So I'm gonna do the next couple um, pieces here, and then I'll do another video update uh, soon. Okay, bye.